Interesting. Didn't think we were going to go <laughs> this direction. Mm. Uh, <laughs> uh, so it feels. All right, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll let you go first. All right. So uh, to be very uh, to go immediately into dismissive mode, it is. <laughs> it it feels like he's very underqualified to start talking about this. That that sexual that sex sells and sexual sexualized content is here in subtle and unsubtle ways. Um, I don't, and but the imp, the, the the implication is that it's bad, right? That there's mm. something insidious and uh, seedy about it. And the the clip that he showed of some nightclub and in in the darkness yeah. and. Some you know, women that might be hookers uh, <laughs> only reinforces that image of seediness, of of immoralness. That... So my my angle, which is kind of similar to your angle, is um, everything is cynical, right? Where oh, the sexualized content is just a marketing capital. <coughs> oh god it's been a bit iffy, iffy this week um it's all just a cynical marketing strategy big sex sells make money add 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 titty to get big profits you know capitalism boardroom type thing and this is a common sentiment that i've seen a lot online where people have like, um yeah no yeah so so it's kind of like i don't like it when people boil the sexual content stuff down to just being all about making money because there's plenty of i mean we follow heaps of blue artists don't we, we, we mm-hmm. you know, we've got artists that we follow on on twatters on pixiv on you know whatever you know I'm, I'm retweeting artists all the time right i don't think at least on the on the jp side or you know on the on the western side i don't think most of those artists are purely doing the work that they're doing just just to make money right because let's be real, like lewd artists are kind of a dime a dozen. You could find lewd art, fucking, you know, you, you know, if, mm. you know, if you go actually looking for it and not on Google Images, right? You could, you know, if you're after that kind of stuff on Pixiv or whatever, you could find it, you know, you could find fucking hundreds and thousands of artists de- drawing the exact same kind of stuff, right? Um, so it's it's a saturated market. So if you were getting into it just to make money, you have to do something that's, you know, different from the pack in that regard right so i don't think it's necessarily all about the cynical capitalism big big money type stuff i think there is a lot of genuine passion from these devs and artists making the sexualized content and I... i don't mind it that much however over my years living on the cursed dirt wall i have come to one realization that being that sex sells Thank you, thank you, I'll be taking my Nobel Prize in Psychology now. But really, sexualization is everywhere, both in subtle ways and not because it is potentially one of the most exploitable characteristics of the human nature, or sexually reproducing creatures as a whole. The goal of biology is to spread the genome forward, so it's not at all surprising that a system like that could be hijacked for the sake of profit. And that business strategy, if you can call it that, is exploitative of everyone. I'm not sure if this happens in other places, but in my country, nightclubs have separate entrance prices depending on your gender. Women pay less to enter, ensuring that the establishment will be decently packed with eligible bachelorettes, which in turn will attract men who will pay more for the entrance. This is the most blatant example I can think of. Women are being exploited for their values as objects of attraction, while men are being financially exploited. This- Interesting. Didn't think we were going to go <laughs> this direction. Uh- mm. <laughs> Uh, so it feels. All right, I'll, 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 I'll let you go first. I'll all right, go so first, a uh, to be very uh, to go immediately into dismissive mode, it is. <laughs> it it feels like he's very underqualified to start talking about this, mm-hmm. because um, at least I don't feel he he's laying down some basis right now. He's just kind of right. claiming that he's doing. <laughs> I don't know. He's doing some. He's doing some weird Puritan version of, uh, if you are engaging or buying or enjoying or you know something are motivated by something sexual, 
that is somehow degrading on your being. That <laughs> uh, regard the the nightclub thing. Yeah, that's um that's some weird ass strategy of theirs. That's not really what I'm caring for right now. It's more his his attitude that if you are motivated. Uh, in some sorry. Yeah, no, no, yeah. Uh, no, this, apparently the stream is not that great quality. YouTube, oh, YouTube is oh complaining no. somewhere. Uh, oh no. Stream chat, if you if you know yeah, stream that's... stream chat, let us know if there's problems and Ellie will try his best to fix it. Yeah, or continue, continue, continue. Yeah, okay. um, uh, that 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 sexual that sex sales and sexual sexualized content is here in subtle and unsubtle ways. Um. I don't, and but the imp, the, the the implication is that it's bad, right? That there's mm, something mm. insidious and uh, seedy about it, and the, the the clip that he showed of some nightclub and in in the darkness yeah. and some you know, woman that might be hookers uh, <laughs> only reinforces that image of seediness of of immoralness. The... Apparently, J apparently, Jake's here watching the stream at two forty p. I mean, part of that could just be because of the servers, right? Because Ellie has to stream. Ellie streams to European data center, probably, and then it streams to fucking whatever. I don't know. Could be his internet. Who knows? Doesn't matter. But anyway, um, I'll let you finish yeah. up, and then I'll. Uh, no, the, the, my point is really he's kind of putting sexualized content in a uh, on the on this pedestal of um, derision. Mm -hmm. So my my angle, which is kind of similar to your angle, is um, everything is cynical, right? Where oh, the sexualized content is just a marketing capital <coughs> oh god throat's been a bit iffy, iffy this week um it's all just a cynical marketing strategy big sex sells make money add 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 titty to get big profits you know capitalism boardroom type thing and this is a common sentiment that i've seen a lot online where people have like Funnily enough, Anime Outsiders had a tweet that I was considering responding to, but I didn't. Um, I probably should have, because he quote tweeted Azura Lane on one of the 2D, live 2D skins, and he was making the point, so, something along the lines of, um, man, you know they must be desperate when they're, you know, desperate for money or strapped for cash when they're resorting to this level of sexy, sexy content, right? Or some, it was something along those lines. I don't remember the exact wording of his tweet, but it was something like that, right? And so I took um bridge with that because you know me I I feel uh, yeah we could talk about Snowbreak in a minute good actually that's another example but the like I don't really I I don't like when it's the the idea that you could that sex is only ever added to something for cynical reasons right I don't think the creators of Stellar Blade right made mm -hmm. the character sexy in the way that they made it sexy purely just to make money. I have a feeling that they actually enjoy that kind of sexualization and simply want to create the thing that they want to create, right? It's the same with Azura Lane, right? I don't think it's necessarily all about, hey, if we do this, it's going to make us more money. I think there is some genuine passion there, right? Um, and Snow the Snowbreak example is quite interesting because, yeah, they started off as not being as sexual and then they added the sexualized content and, you know, as, you know maybe as a cynical marketing strategy, maybe not. And it's apparently led to the voice actors for the English dub walking out, which is quite funny. Um, but I, I would have to look more into that case specifically to know if that is actually a case of it being cynical or not, right? Because it could be that maybe they just decided to change direction for you know for purely actual creative reasons, right? Um, yeah, no, yeah. So, so it's kind of like I don't like it when people boil the sexual content stuff down to just being all about making money. Because there's plenty of I mean, we follow heaps of blue artists, don't we? Ali? We mm -hmm. you know, we've got artists that we follow on on Twitters, on Pixiv, on you know whatever. You know, I'm I'm retweeting artists all the time, right? 
I don't think, at least on the on the JP side or you know on the on the Western side, I don't think most of those artists are purely doing the work that they're doing just just to make money, right? Because let's be real, like lewd artists are kind of a dime a dozen. You could find lewd art, fucking, you know, you, you know, if, mm. you know, if you go actually looking for it and not on Google Images, right? You could, you know, if you're after that kind of stuff on Pixiv or whatever, you could find it. You know, you could find fucking hundreds and thousands of artists do, drawing the exact same kind of stuff, right? Um, so it's it's a saturated market. So if you were getting into it just to make money, you have to do something that's you know different from the pack in that regard right so i don't think it's necessarily all about the cynical capitalism big big money type stuff i think there is a lot of genuine passion from these devs and artists making the sexualized content and i feel like that doesn't get kind of addressed in a lot of these points it it all just kind of defaults back to no it has to be some capitalist plot to make you know they oh they added yeah, swimsuit the reason... skins they added the swimsuit skins because they they had to they were forced to by the capitalist system yeah, but the only to make the, money. the reason why it's it's uh, it's all a plot against their will or uh, either it's either a plot against uh, against their will or a, a cynical move is because uh any anything sexual is tainted. It's it's uh, right. Yeah. Why would someone deliberately taint themselves? Yeah, yeah. that's what I kind of feel. Uh, the vibe, at least now, not maybe not from this video, but more because the vibe that I get from this video is this is this inherent this system uh, internalized uh, disdain for sexualized for for sexiness. Mm. And his example of the nightclub is really interesting too, because I don't feel like that's in any way comparable to like I don't know, Arknights having swimsuit skins. Well, <laughs> right? the example of the nightclub was something that was more about the women getting there in cheaper, so he, men get can get lured into them, right? Yeah, but I think Gouda made a really good point in the chat where he said the women are theoretically consenting, right? by entering in the club right they you know they get in the club cheaper they're consenting to being maybe maybe not necessarily not not like knowingly i guess and i think that could be a problem but you know if you had like a ladies night right at the club and it's clearly advertised as the ladies night right where the ladies get in cheaper right you you kind of like i don't know i don't know i don't i don't feel like that's as exploitative as he makes it out. I I do think that there might be there is some level of exploitation there, but I think you could argue. Like, I feel like there is an argument to be made there that if you knew that oh I'm getting in cheaper because they want more men to come in and spend more money, right? Yeah, you know, if if you knew about the exploitation and you still agreed to it, it's a bit different than it not being, you know. For, you know, it yeah, being but Narissa, we should we should continue with the video. Because yeah, we're yeah, kind of yeah. I don't think I, motives right now. Yeah, because then we just yeah then we're just going to be speculating. Like, we're just going to rip his hypothetical apart, and that's not really worth, you know, worth it. So anyway, let's continue. This pattern is fucked, and it's everywhere. Ever notice how gacha games often have a roster that consists of mostly females? Why is that? To quote one of the best tweets I've read this week, because the gentlemen like big titty bitches. Next article, write some real fucking news. Honestly, true. Based, even. And like I said in the beginning...